Hello, Junior Learning House. So today we're doing one of our matrix squares and we're doing reading. So I've got my reading matrix here. I know because it says reading at the top. All of the other squares have been colored in because we've done them so far. So if you haven't done them, maybe go back and have a look at the pre-recorded videos and you can follow along. So we're doing this one, number seven. Now, if you're trying to click with your finger and nothing's happening, don't worry, I'm gonna show you what uh, the video is called and a little bit of an easy way to search for it. So here we have, write two facts about the sun, two facts about the earth, and two facts about the moon. Okay, so all are six different facts that we've got. So what I would like you to do is start by making this your title. Reading matrix number seven, and make sure you've got the date at the top. So please do that, pause the video, do that, and then come back. So let's start off by write, writing down facts. Now that means something that is true. Facts about the, and let's do facts about the, let's start with the earth. So there, so you've got two different headings. So make sure you've done both headings and the dates, and then we'll keep going. Now, if you're a little bit, so pause the video, do all that first. Now, if you're not sure about how to find the video that we're talking about, you can type this into YouTube. So sorry if you have to write that down or pause the video and write it down or get another screen. So it's a little bit tricky, but you could type in the sun, earth and moon solar system for kids. And you know, it's the right video because it's from smile and learn. That's the channel. So hopefully that helps. Now, when you start the video, it shows that you're on a bit of a spaceship, you're having a great time and you're going to learn about the solar system. And at about sort of 40, 40 seconds in, um, you start talking about earth. So that's what we want. That's where we're going to get our facts. from. So I'm just going to mute the video and we're just going to have a bit of a read together. So here's the, the first sentence that we're going to look together. So it's explaining. Mm, that there's the sun and the earth goes all the way around the sun and it takes, let's bring up this sentence and it takes 365 days for the earth to let's say, get from here, go all the way around and then come back. And that's why we call it a year. And there's 365 days until we're back into the same place. So that's why if you've ever had a birthday and you thought, oh, my birthday is so long away, well, in time, your birthday, if it was here, it would take a whole rotation or a whole ring around the sun to get back to your birthday. So here, here we go. This is some interesting facts that we've got already. The earth rotates around the sun. Sorry if it's a bit hard to see. And it takes 365 days to complete a full orbit or a full ring around the sun. We've got our two facts there. That's both of our facts. So I'm gonna write down the earth rotates or goes round the sun. That can be fact number one. So write a number one and write that down. The earth rotates or goes round, rotates around the sun. And let me show you what I've written. So go nice and slowly and you can write down the same fact as me if you want, that's fine. So here we go. I've written a number one because it's our first fact. So after that, we're gonna go on to our second fact about the earth. And we know it's facts about earth because we've written a heading, facts about the earth. So the first fact about the earth we've written down the earth rotates around the sun. Now, if you wanted to really make sure that you remember all of this, you could draw a circle. You could draw a sun. Now, if we go back to the picture, have a look. This is a really interesting thing to think about. If you have a look at the picture, does it look like the sun is in the middle? No, it's off to one side. And that's why some parts of the year are hotter than others. Because the earth gets closer to the sun during the hotter months. And then when it gets further away, well, it gets colder and that's why we have winter. 
So that was fact number one. So what you could do is if you wanted to make sure that you really, really, really remember that fact. So you can draw a circle with the sun and you could think about, all right, well, do you want to draw your earth here? Then it would be in summer or where we're at the moment in winter, you could draw your little earth over there because it's away from the sun. It's a little bit colder. So that might help you. I mean, you could go even further and you could draw a little arrow and you could write down that that's the earth and you could do another arrow and you could write down where the sun would be a little bit in there, but you could write down that that was the sun. If that helps you remember, combining text, pictures and sounds always work really well for our memory. So let's do number two. So the other fact that we were looking at on this great little video, and it only goes for a couple minutes, is, let's go back. Okay, so sorry it's a bit hard to see with the text, but the other fact in this one part of the video, so you might need to watch and pause and get your facts that way. It takes 365 days to complete a full orbit or a full rotation. Let's talk about rotation. That means the earth is rotating or going around the sun. So we're going to use that on our next fact. So let's go back to our books. And of course, for these two, two first examples, you can, you can write what I'm writing or you can write it in your own words. It's up to you. So the next fact that we're going to write down is we're going to say it, t -t -t it takes 365 300, six in the tens column, five in the ones column, 365 days for the earth, the planet we live on, for the earth to, and I'm going to use this word that we used before, rotate or go around like the earth is going to rotate around the sun. And again, what that means is if our earth was moving around the sun, it would take a whole year or 365 days before it gets back to the same spot. So we've written facts about the earth. So next, maybe leave a bit of a space and you want to write down next facts about now let's have a look. All right, well, the book is wanting us to write down two facts about the sun, two facts about the earth, and two facts about the moon. Well, you can even cross out if you want the facts about the earth, because we've already done that. So now we need to look at facts about the sun and facts about the moon. Okay, so if we have a look at the video, the next thing it says, and this is a fact about the sun. Now I skipped forward the video because I didn't want you watching it the whole time. You can watch it at home, but here we go. So on our book, we want to write down facts about the sun. Now we're going to write a number one, and this is the fact that I think is interesting. You might think another fact is interesting. You can write something else. So I would write down the sun is the solar systems. So I would write down from here. The sun, put an is in there, is the solar system's only star. Well, that's interesting. Or we could write down, the sun is a star. That's still a great sentence, and that tells us something very interesting. So have a look at my book, Facts About the Sun. Number one, the sun is a star. If you were just writing that, that's a terrific answer, and that's absolutely fine. Then you'd keep watching the video and you would write down number two. And then you would write another heading and you would write down facts about the moon. So let me quickly do that for you. Facts. And again, you can draw little pictures if you want, if that helps. Facts about the moon. And you would need to write one different fact and two different facts. Now, this is quite a bit of work. If it takes you one afternoon or you come back to it over maybe one or two days, that's absolutely fine. But hey, the best thing is now that we've finished that, what can we do? We can get out our book. And when you're finished, only when you're completely finished that one, 
we can color in that square because we know that we've done it now. So well done, Jimmy Learning House. Any questions, please ask your teacher. And if you can, try and get your parents, if they have time, take a photo of your work and send it to us because we always love seeing your work. But that's it. We'll see you for another video very soon.